So we've talked about hacking. Let's talk about ethical hacking. Let's talk about what ethical hacking is, why it's necessary, and the skills of an ethical hacker. So ethical hacking is we are a security professional. And you can see this. <laughs> I'm a security professional, of course. But we're using the same hacking techniques to test something before the bad guys get to it so that we can patch it up. That's why we have to do, use the same tools with the same techniques. It's just that we're trying not to blow anything up. Although there is a risk that we might damage something. We, we acknowledge that because, because we're using destructive tools. We're just trying to do it in a measured way, in a careful way. So with ethical hacking, um, a security person will use hacking tools, hacking tricks, hacking techniques to identify vulnerabilities ahead of time to make sure that the system is secure. Not just vulnerabilities, but actual exploitable vulnerabilities. We're going to focus on using the same techniques to find anything that's exploitable. Um, we're simulating the techniques, but that doesn't mean it's phony. It means we're using the real tools. So we perform security assessments on the organization with their permission. So they have given us written permission. If we are a contractor, they have hired us specifically with written permission to do this. And we're going to make it very clear that we're going to use the same malicious tools that a real hacker would use. That, and we are hackers. It's just that we're white hats. Um, we're going to use the same malicious tools. There is a risk that we will damage a box or damage a system. So we work hand in hand with the IT team in case something inadvertent happens, they can quickly restore the box back to the way it was. So these are, you work with the IT department. They might even want to come along for the ride so they can learn. You just got to make sure that um, they don't inadvertently um, tamper with how you're doing things. So is it necessary? Yeah. We need to keep ahead of the, uneth the unethical hackers um, so that uh, we, need to we need to counter those attacks. We need to prevent the unethical hackers. We need to uncover vulnerabilities. And we need to analyze the strength and, and strengthen an organization's security posture. Security posture is how they're implementing security and how they feel about security and how they think about how they care about security. So we need to see what an intruder could see or do. And also we need to see, have there been intrusions that have not been detected? Um, is every component of the whole system and the network protected and patched properly? And how much effort, time, and money would be needed to have adequate protections? And are the measures in place, are they actually in compliance with industry standards or legal standards? So we're, we're auditing as well as just plain old trying to break in. An ethical hacker has to have the same technical skills as an, un, an unethical hacker. We have to have in-depth knowledge, in-depth knowledge of the operating environment, all the concepts, all the technology, the related hardware, the software. We need to be a computer expert. We need to understand all the technical areas of focus, the do, what we call the domains. We need to have security knowledge and experience. We should understand how to do sophisticated attacks. And we'll have non-technical skills, like learning how to adapt to new technology. Um, we have to have a strong work ethic. We have to be um, committed to security and to policies. We have to understand um, local, state, federal laws and organizational compliance. This doesn't mean that you're a lawyer. That's not what I'm saying. But we need to be able to say, hey, this is not in compliance with HIPAA, not in compliance with PCI DSS. Now, it's up to the company's legal team to help the IT department actually be in compliance. But you have to have, as a, an ethical hacker, enough under awareness and understanding to recognize when something is not in compliant in compliance, or, or at least to say, go to legal and say, hey, I, I think this is not in compliance. Can you help us? So th these are the skills. Plus, you have to have people skills, because you will be expected to do social engineering. You might have to have um, physical attack skills, like knowing how to plant <laughs> raspberry pies and, and other things in a, a network. Um, not necessarily that you know how to pick locks, but maybe you clone RFID badges. 
Not necessarily that you know how to jump over fences, but maybe you know how to talk your way past a guard. So that is the basics of ethical hacking.